we've got a problem. Everything is quiet. A week ago, two weeks ago, everybody was in an uproar. We were out to change the world. There was a definitive path in terms of where we were going, how we were going to get there, and everybody was tuned in. Now, it's quiet. And this is the history. Something happens, everybody gets loud, everybody is motivated, everybody is in tune, everybody's of the same accord, and then we get satiated. Or those of us with influence get satiated, and so we kind of drift into the background thinking, saying, believing that whatever just happened was extraordinary. It's not going to happen again. We'll be able to address this beforehand. I'm scarred. I'm not scared. I'm scarred. I'm scarred because I am a black man. I am a powerful black man. Oh yeah, I'm powerful. Powerful because I'm positive. Powerful because I don't have a criminal record that's a mile long. Powerful because I actually know how to navigate through the system of social, economic, cultural dystopia so therefore that makes me dangerous I'm not just lost in the wilderness what I say to you is we have to remain grounded we have to remain focused we have to remain purposed Just okay is not okay. I'm doing okay. I know a hundred others of me that are doing okay. I know of a million others that are just okay. I was just looking up black affluent neighborhoods today and where they are and median incomes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And we're doing okay. But as the commercial says and as the reality is, just okay is not okay. We need to be doing great, good, fine. We need to be doing well. And I'm not talking about any financial sense. I'm talking about in a being, a sense of being, a sense of existence. People, take care of yourselves. First, because if you can't take care of yourselves, you can't take care of others. Second, understand that there is a purpose in everything. Even the things you have or you see that have no purpose, there is a purpose. If you don't know it, find out what it is. And in terms of internal, know your purpose. Thirdly, understand that the world is what it is. Nobody can change the world except for God. You can contribute, you can add to, you can influence, you can sway, you can voice what it is you feel. And that's a positive. And if we all do the same, then yes, things will shift. But in terms of Concrete, true change. You can't do it by yourself. I had a conversation with a friend. 
dealing with change and desire, dealing with true state of affairs, dealing with the discounting of the brown black man, dealing with just feeling the inequities of the system that have been placed upon those like me. And I had to acknowledge that we are at a disadvantage. We are at a disadvantage. We are at a disadvantage. We, meaning you, me, meaning black, the brown, the non-white, meaning those that, I won't say didn't originate from this country because the black and the brown actually were already here. But those that were a part of the foundation of the economical chain of building this country. We can't change things if we don't address the core, the root, the true issue of where the cause lies. I'm saddened because every day I have to think of a reason how I am going, not a reason, but a way, method of how I'm going to explain the state of affairs, the way we are going, the way we have been going, and the possible outcomes to my daughters. Thirty-one, fifteen, eleven. How do I explain to them how and why? that we exist in the state that we do. Yet everything that we would show them on television, newspaper, and anywhere else would tell them that everything is okay and that they're doing fine. I've said it before, people. Let's not just talk about it. Let's be about it. This ain't 1999, but... It's time. I'm here. I got you. Do you got me? How do we get there? Can you help me? Are you here with me? If I fall, which way are you going to let me fall? I'm moving forward in hopes that I will keep going that way and if I fall then I fall forward and I get up or you will help me up and we can get there but where are you thoughts from the basement